And look at all that orange happening in all in one spot. Yeah. This you got the color just in your rocks alone, and then you add all this to the front of it. Yeah. Wow. And that, that's Elgonica over there. Oh yes, Elgonica was in that photo I took back in 07. Yeah. They get more burgundy right now. That's got some green in it. You know, I can't hear that name, Elgonica, without thinking of you. Oh, really? Well, you're the first one to introduce me <laughs> well, to I, it. Yeah, I got it from Sarah Gardens up in Malibu back in the late, in the early 90s. And... I remember what you said about the photo of it in my book. What did I say? You were diplomatic about it, but you said, yeah, you know, it's too bad it wasn't redder in the center, because they get red in the center. Yeah. redder when they're red. <laughs> so, I, of course, I took that to heart. <laughs> This is the repeat bloomer of what I found is Elgonica can be in bloom in the summer or winter. I, I think it is a repeat bloomer unless this is a hybrid Elgonica. This is called Mango Madness. It has a real pretty orange flower. It's a cross of Van Belenii, which is an octopus oh, one that yeah. also gets red with, with Cameronii. Uh, that's true Cameronii, one of the forms of Cameronia. And this is a Cameronii Brent Wigand, the obscure cross one. And I can't remember the name of that one. It had a nice flower. So you got some true rarities mixed in with... Yeah, just common stuff. you gotta, yeah. you got to kind of do that, you know, Portugal carry Afra. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that mangave. Yeah. Oh. Are you test driving them? Kind of. And they generally are pretty easy. Desert Dragon. I bought four of them. I took one home. The other three sold about the next day at my shop. That is a stunner. Really, the best specimen of mangave lavender lady I've ever seen. Well, the, the, the main non-succulent stuff that I'm into are these leucospermums, these pin cushions. Yeah. God, they bloom beautifully. There's still a couple flowers left, but I'm a big fan of that genus. You've really framed that dickie a nice one. That's a nice one right there. That's a beautiful plant. These are volunteer Dudleys down there. Seriously? They did that all by themselves. That's the best. That's the best way to propagate. You know, when I was driving over here along the uh, Highway 78, I was looking at yeah. Dudleys. Yeah, they're all over in the road test. These are Britain eyes, and the one in the middle, I believe, is Pulverulenta. Oh, I love how they just glow from within. Now this neighbor's yard is really something. Yeah, he he, uh, he got really into the succulent thing when he saw what I was doing. A lot of nice rock work here. That's, I think, aloe tari, which does get nice and red in, when it's stressed. Here's a good view of the Bismarckia. That's a 20-year-old Bismarckia I planted as a small 15-gallon plant in 99. Look at that repetition of the Bismarckia with, with the Puya. Yeah, that kind of color is nice. I mean, it I, is, that, that's the silver. The blue-gray colors, you know, and then you pop it next to a burgundy. That's yeah, big wrong, stunning. Yeah. Puya bergeroniana. And the flower is this giant incandescent light blue. That's Luca Dendron Jester or Safari Sunset. There's a couple, I'm not an expert on this. But, but look, look at the sun coming through that. Yeah, well, even with the sticks on fire, which is so overused, you know. That's why I don't yeah. recommend using that black uh, weed cloth, because it always shows. And the weeds yeah. still grow on top of it. Yeah. This Kalankoe Beharensis? That's the Nudum variety. Nudum. Buzzless. Buzzless. No hair is a ball there. Yeah, ball. Prepubescent. I got that Hercules from Bill Baker 20 years ago when it was still kind of a rare, there weren't many around. And it's a big cyclostem of jutite down below it. Oh yeah, go oh, you wow. never see those in gardens. Well, good tour, Jeff, thank you. Yeah, thanks, Deborah.